hi guys welcome back to the channel this week i'm going to be talking to you about some new in pieces in my closet i have a coat a dress a skirt and some bras i wanted to talk to you about so let's get started okay so the first piece i'm going to be talking about is this silk like skirt from cold gaia when i picked it up i thought it was 100 percent silk but it's not it's made out of polyester and another material like 21 percent polyester and another material but i got it in the sale so you know i'm not i'm not too upset about that because i cannot return it and it's quite lovely so i don't want to return it anyways um and i'm going to be styling this i think about two or three ways so yeah i'm gonna put this on now and then i'm gonna to talk to you guys about the bra that i picked up the bras that I want to talk about are from the company called Coop. I'm wearing one now and I picked up a few. The first time I bought from them was during the Thanksgiving sale because I, I really wanted like new, sexy, functional, supportive <laughs> bras in my collection. It was time to get rid of the bras that I had. Don't say anything. <laughs> they were, they were yeah. nice. Okay. Um, so I picked up some over the Thanksgiving sale because I think they are pretty pricey uh, I picked them up and then I liked the way they looked and how supportive and functional they were so I decided to add some more to my collection when did I pick up the next batch I think in the January sales but it didn't get to me before we left Houston so my parents brought them down for me I've got the green one, this, what would you call it, what would you call this color, Julie? I think it looks like a dark cream. Yeah, maybe a dark cream and black one. I picked up a nice, there's a gold one here somewhere, yeah. I picked up a gold one and another one of the brown ones that I'm wearing now. I'm going to show you what they look like on, they're very comfortable. In my opinion, they're very, very sexy. Um, so, the first way I wanted to style this skirt was with a scarf. This is what the bra looks like on. And, you know, I think it's quite sexy. Like, dripping the scarf around it. And then adding a coat. A blazer. Not a coat. That is cool. A blazer. I like that scarf, is nice. Yeah, it is. I've never seen it before. It belongs to mom. Oh. <laughs> so, like, like this, and then adding a belt to cinch it in in the waist. This is not the perfect blazer for this st styling that I have. I think I mentioned in my last video that I need to invest in some blazers. So. This is not the perfect outfit, but I like the look of it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. Maybe I would actually wear this out when I have the perfect blazer. But this is what the first outfit looks like, and I think it looks not perfect, but good. What do you think? I I do think that the top is nice. I'm not sure with the skirt. With the skirt. Yes. You're not sure. Okay. Guys, let me know what you think in the in the comments down below. I think it looks it looks good. It's just that the perfect the blazer is not ideal for this combination, but I think it works. Actually, it could, like the blazer. Yeah, it could work with the with the perfect blazer. Um, let's see. Let's try and cinch it in a bit. So this what, is. What shoes would you wear with this? I have ankle boots on. Oh, you do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's the first look. So okay, <laughs> let's let's get to the second look. So for the next look, I have this black roll neck on, and then I'm gonna add this wool shirt to it. And I was thinking I could either leave it open like this, and have it a bit more like casual and laid back. Or I could button it up and tuck it in 
and have a very I would say like Parisian style. I like that. It looks it looks a bit effortless yeah. but then still very put together. Put together, yeah. Gives me I also really like that shirt. <laughs> it gives me yes. Paris vibes. If you were as wide as I show my shoulders, then I would wear it. Wear the same thing. Yeah. Would wear it. I don't mind sure. I would actually take it from you. But then it doesn't fit. We could we could have tried to get it in the large size. I don't know why we didn't think about it because it's quite big. And then I'll roll up the sleeves and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks you look like you could work in the library, the one in Italy we went to, which yeah. would be on the vlog. Yeah, we'll be on the like travel vlog that, yeah, we took a lot of clips. There was no way we could get it out last week Thursday, so it should be coming very soon. So, yeah. do you think this would look nice with a belt? I'm using you as my mirror because there's no mirror in this space. Um, Trust me, the belt. Where's the belt? It should be there somewhere. On the bed mm. somewhere. Yeah. Let's see if this works with the belt too. Definitely. It does? Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is what the second look is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love this. <laughs> I love this guys. I'm so happy I was able to pick it up. Um, I can't find the black of this skirt anywhere. I would link the white and the pink, which is still in stock, and I, I would try to find something similar to this, um, and also link this to in the description. But this is what the second look is, and I'm in love. So let's get on to the third look. Okay, so for the third look, I have paired it with this pink knit from Turbot. Now, I picked up this knit a few years ago, and because I'm here then everywhere, it was in one of my, or one of the suitcases packed away, and I just found it recently, so I'm excited <laughs> that I have this, and excited to wear it. And I'm gonna, oh, look at this scarf. This scarf is beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I want one too. <laughs> yeah. It was a limited edition. We picked it up for mom in Dubai. in Dubai and then picked one up for ourselves. And I don't think we'll find um, find it again, except maybe on the resale market. So I'm just going to drape this scarf over it because I think it would look good. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. The idea of pink and red, I'm loving that um, lately. So I'm just going to drape this over it for a bit of interest, either this way or... Do you think I should flip that? Maybe let's let's try it. Fold it and does it work this way? Like this too? I guess it would, but how practical is this? Because I don't, I don't think just a bit of wind. I don't and think it's gone. <laughs> I don't think we're being practical here. Okay. Or let's be practical. Yeah, or, I like that. Or like this. Like bandana stuff. Yeah. And you look like a very chic cowboy. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the third look. I think this is the last look I have with this skirt. Yeah, I only have three looks with this skirt. So, yeah. Let me know your favorite in the comments below between the three for this skirt. And I don't know, what's, what is the next one I'm gonna try in? I don't wanna get out of this now, I feel. You have to. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> so, yeah. That's it. So the next dress, the next outfit that I'll be styling is this dress from Ola Johnson. I picked this up in the sale. Um, this was on my wish list for about a couple of months now actually. I think in the summer was in Houston when I saw this dress for the first time. So July, August of last year. And um, I'm happy to have it in my collection. One way I will style it is just like this. If I don't want anything around my waist cinching it in and I'll add a cashmere cardigan to it, over it if I'm gonna wear it in the winter. So I can either have it this way, not belted and just like a big night dress, 
or I can cinch it in with the belt it came with and so this is one of the ways I will style it I have I still have on my black boots I cannot be bothered to change it now but you can either way with black I don't mind this look or you can change it to like a softer um, like brown or tan boots do you think white would go with this maybe maybe it would but white boots yeah white boots yeah white or cream oh, I don't know yeah but I guess it depends where you are yeah so this is it's a very nice dress yes yeah, it is thank you so styled this way I'm gonna style it another way now okay so the next way I will style this dress is with a roll neck underneath and belt in it at the waist I'm using like black accessories because you know that's what I have and I like the look of black with with this um, print and this is a beautiful dress but the one annoying thing about it is getting these buttons opened and closed so just imagine that I have gone through the effort of closing closing this up and then I'm gonna add a coat to this because we're still in the thick of winter so this is the look so you can either have it without the roll neck underneath or with the roll neck <laughs> so yeah so which one of the two stylings of this um, dress do you like let me know that in the comments too So the next outfit is this dress from Lulu Studios, I think studio, not studio, studio, and I believe this dress is 70% wool, 30% cashmere, if I can find the label. Um, I added this to the video that I put two weeks ago, it's one of the dresses that was on the wish list section of the video, and um, it's a very nice dress. I like jumper dresses like this the sleeves give it a lot of just makes it a bit more interesting and i like the button up section of the dress in front of it so you can either wear the dress like this it's you know quite nice very simple you look stylish and it's just easy to throw on and and i approve of it <laughs> or, or you can add where is the belt the bomb side <laughs> This section of the room. Okay, you can add this belt to it, like a black belt. I feel like this this belt is one of the. So you can add the belt to it for, you know, some interest, and you can add this like black coat to it. So this is one way of wearing the jumper dress, an all black look. Yeah, the next piece I want to talk about is this um, from I mean, was, I got this in the sale for almost about I want to say about seventy percent off. It was in the sale, and I had an extra twenty percent off, so I I got a lot of this coat. I saw this coat uh, when we were in Houston. It was in the pre pre order section of Saks, and it would, it's yeah, it was a lot of money, so I wasn't about to pay full price for it. And I waited for it to go in the sale, hoping that it would go in the sale during Thanksgiving and during the um, during Thanksgiving, and it didn't go into the sale. But it went into the sale in January during the January sales. It was sold out in my size. And then came back in, in stock because I'm always on the Saks website. They let me know when it was back in stock and they gave me 20%. So I picked this up. It is a stunning, stunning coat. I always wanted like a floor length coat like this. And I think most of the coats I would be investing in now would be floor length for me. Because I think it makes the look like more elegant and more... 
classic and more structured it also adds an edge to the look too so those are the qualities that i i try to imbue if that's the right word in my style so i like the combination of these two together so this would be you know perfect styling for the dress so the dress and the coat <laughs> you're not saying anything what do you think i like it okay it's it looks very it looks quite big but i see you can you can really close it up yeah you can okay, close exactly. it up um i think maybe actually no because of the shoulder i thought it, the coat might be too big for me when i picked it up but i wasn't going to pass it up at the price that i got it for um i just thought like either it could be tailored or i would just wear it oversized but it fits well in the shoulders it's a bit big on the waist but i think sometimes i would belt it in and that's the next way i want to style i would like to have one like this actually yeah, I've been, I've been searching the internet to see if I can find one like this for you too. Okay. Because it would be nice for us to have something similar mm -hmm. while we're out. I agree, that would be nice. Okay, so the next way I thought about styling this coat is like belting the dress and coat actually. It's, it's just a bit big for my waist. I would have to have an extra hole punched in. So I've not worn it that much. But I feel like belting for belting in like bigger coats, it works. So this is another way of styling the dress and the coat, and I think it goes together beautifully. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think in in the comments. I'm I'm so happy about this coat. I think I mentioned in some videos last year that I really needed to invest in coats. The black coat that I have. I shrunk it so I need to add some some coats to my collection so this is the beginning of that journey of adding beautiful <laughs> Julian is laughing at me he's like this this silly girl <laughs> um, so yeah turn again mm -hmm. <laughs> oh it's nice that you indulge me okay so the the next styling would be how I, all the ways that I would like wear this coat. I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm hungry, <laughs> so I'm a bit slow. Okay, so now I'm styling just the coat and trying to style it all the ways. And I have this outfit. I, I, some of you might remember this outfit I picked. It was in I think two or three videos ago for my. Sachs um, order and um, I think this coat goes perfectly with with it I would have different shoes on but I just <laughs> I can't be bothered to change my shoes right now um, I, I think I'll have brown boots actually the black works with it because the coat has black and the knit has some like black trim on it so this is one way of styling the coat and that is not with the dress and then one final look and then we're done so for the last look i have this striped pants from where's this one from max mara i think it feels a bit um more what would we use to describe this pants corporate formal smart yeah it's, it's smarter <laughs> the pants than the jeans and i added this very slouchy knit from i don't remember where this is from it was my sister and then now it's fine we've had it for years um and i think this look goes yeah it, it looks nice so i styled it once with jeans and then i added then i'm styling it now with this like smarter looking pant you could add like a roll neck and uh also have it like that like a black roll neck and with the jacket i think that works perfectly too but um so it's just one of the options that you have i think i prefer this it just has a bit more interest to it 
yeah so this is the last look that i have for you guys this week uh let me know your favorite in the comment down below from each section so what was your best styling of the skirt of the dress oh, can you hear my tummy <laughs> of the dress of the skirt of the um jumper dress and um of the coat put that down in the comments and um, thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one actually the next one you would see has already been recorded it's um the vlog from the trip we took to florence it was amazing we, we had so much pasta and um, meat. yeah so and much wine. meat and so much wine and we explored a library that you would see there i don't did we take a lot of clips in the library um yeah we have we have quite a few clips but i feel like some of them are for reals i would add them there too yes yes so we have we have some clips from the library i think that was the best experience that i had of from the florence trip the food was amazing but in terms of visiting a place it was the library so you would see that it was it was um, beautiful you see that upper thursday hopefully and uh yeah i will see you in mm -hmm. so we have quite a few things on instagram a few pictures yes they would go up we've been very busy we've not been able to put anything out for now but once on we settle instagram. yeah once we settle which you would link <laughs> yes which i would link once we settle then they would be going out um thank you so much for the support and for watching and i will see you in the next one i will leave videos to i will leave links to other videos that you can watch somewhere somewhere here on the screen and bye guys i'm rambling now